Hey guys, I'm back with my secondary video. If you watched my first video, then you know what I mean by secondary video. Um, sorry this is windy, I'll probably get some wind chop up, but um, I did shoot another phone book with the Beeman Barrack, the Beeman um, Kodiak, and the h and Barracuda. They had very similar because they are pretty much the exact same bullet. I did find one, I could not find the other. I think this is the Beeman Kodiak bullet. Um, dang bees, uh, there it is up close, and we'll see how far they went. Now, I did have one guy comment that it wasn't very enjoyable to see this, but, um, if you ask me, it's kind of fun to see how the pellet performed against the phone book. So, I think they want a maximum, the, ma the last dent I saw was around... Right about here, I guess. So that's about this many pages through. Now these are heavy pellets for my gun. Um, my gun's about an 18 foot pound rifle. Um, these pellets are more designed for about 20 or anywhere from 20 to 30 plus foot pound rifles. But um, my gun comes in very close. If you have a hot saw 125 sniper, um, spring version, because I know the spring versions, I think, are supposed to get up to 30 pounds. You watch my airgun reviews, he has a 125 sniper. I don't know about the regular 125, if it gets that high, but I've seen some people say that it does get, that they are the exact same gun, just different attachments on there. But, um, if I could get one of the two, I would definitely get the 125 sniper. But anyway, those two guns put out 30 foot pounds and 22 and 25 caliber. Oh, actually, I think Rick Gutzler had a one in the 25 caliber but that had about 31 and a half foot pounds out or something like that. But the Kenny from My Airgun Reviews had only 30.28 foot pounds out of his 22. So, um, definitely not much difference there. For a 25 Springer, that's pretty good. It's probably going to be the flattest shooting 25 caliber Springer you're going to be able to get. I'm not saying that's the flattest 25 caliber airgun in the world. I'm just saying. That's probably about as flat as you're going to get in a 25 spring gun. Um, for a 22, that's extremely powerful as well. Probably highest power in its class. That's um, off the shelf. Not like uh, custom made guns like the dude from Mac 1 does. He does a 25 foot pound Benjamin uh, 32, or he used to. I couldn't find it on his website anymore. He also used to do a. Um, I don't remember how many foot pounds it is, but it's a Shridium Blue Streak 20 cal, the pump up gun. So it's the 392. And then he also makes some of his own custom guns. If you watch um, one of Ed Gun USA's videos, um, Tim, uh, I think that's his name, um, he has a uh, Mac 100 that he reviews. I think it puts around 30 foot pounds out, and it's a pre charged pneumatic. So, um, yeah, for um, these pellets on my gun. Average below 600s, maybe 615, 620. If you ask, uh, if you go to Kenny's review on the spring version of the Hot Sound Striker Edge, which is the exact same, this gun without, um, with a thumb hole stock, and looks really skeletonish, that's why I chose this gun. And because I don't think it comes in a vortex gas piston, I always wanted to get the gas piston version. Because I would like to have the gun last a lot longer and have would not have so much um, um, hold sensitivity. But um, anyway, back to this. These are the two holes. They look pretty neat. After you get through the first page, they pretty much just explode through. This is the H&M Barracuda. This is the Beam and Kodiak, I'm pretty sure. Um, I actually tried to put the two pellets at different locations, but... As you can see, that did not work. But, um, overall, they basically made the exact same holes. Uh, looks like the H&M might have carried just a tad more energy. I think my gun just might look like those just a tad better than the Beeman Kodiak. Which I might th you might think is just pretty dumb, but... They might be close, but they're not really... But they're not the exact same pellet. Well, thanks to the wind, I think I found how actually far it went. Actually went around this far. It's extra 10 pages maybe. 
not too much of a difference, but um, yeah, if you're gonna get a Hotson um, 1000S striker with the Vortex gas piston or just a conventional spring, I do really recommend the Vortex gas piston. In the 22 caliber, I would definitely try out these H&N pellets, but I've seen the reviews by Rick Kusler with the 25 and the 177 versions, but the 25 is a Woodstock version, the X, 1000X. Um, and JSB shot the most, so I'm going to try to get a JSB 22 caliber pellet sampler. Um, I'm also getting an H&N pellet sampler. It has the copper coated H&N pellet, and then I'm going to get the Gamo pellet test thing, and then I'm going to get some RWS Super H points since you get the 4th pin free. Or I might get Predator Polymax in place since they are pretty much a great hunting pellet by anybody's standards. Rapid transfer of energy, a hollow point, and as a red tip for, um, he, he says enhanced accuracy. I don't think it would exactly create enhanced accuracy. Maybe just give it a little higher bliss, or bliss coefficient, but yeah, that's it guys. So, um, see you later. Hey guys, I'm back. Um. This is just an add-on to my other um, the shooting this uh, phone book. Um, I did this at point blank range to make sure that the pellets would go exactly where I want them. And for to see how much uh, exact muzzle penetration I will get, since I don't have a chronograph, I can't exactly do muzzle energy. But I can do how far I'll go through this stupid little phone book. So, I'll show you what I did. Beam of Kodiak, H&M Barracuda, and since we didn't have this during our first test, the Cross Premier Hollow Point. If you ask me, they're not really hollow points because they do not expand. So, here is the first page. There's the hollow point. Yeah, am I getting that right? Yeah, hollow point, H&M, and then the Beeman. Sorry, this is a little blurry. Um, the screen's glaring on me, so I don't know. Um, we're about another 20 pages or so in, and here's the hollow point again. Looks like it's going straight through. H&M Barracudas. And there's the beam of Kodiak. <coughs> going just a bit more. Another 20 or so pages. Here is the Crossman Pier hollow point again. Nice hole. Um, H&M Barracuda. And then the Beam of Kodiak pellet. So you get that? Alright. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. Now. Uh oh. Right there. I don't know if there's the pellet in there or not. Throw that out that way. Nope. Alright. So anyway. Cross from here. Hollow point. Hang on. Let me make sure I don't miss any pellets. Asian and Barracuda. Beam of Kodiak. Go in. A little more. Make sure I don't seriously miss any pellets because that'd be bad. So I flattened these down, but here is the cross from here hollow point, Kodiak or Barracuda and Kodiak. Found our first pellets actually, or two pellets actually. Um, trying to think, this would be the. This is the Kodiak pellet. It's got. Um, you can actually see where like it looked like the lid got burned off or like smudged up because it was getting so much energy transferred and that looks like that's got really shredded so that's the kodiak pellet i'll set that right there and then here is our next pellet i'm actually going to go a few more pages but even though we found the kodiak pellet already it still did quite a ton of damage you can see down there let's go a few more pages till we get out that other pellet and i found the h&m barracuda so Looks like they did okay. Ugh. Let's see, like, looks like I can get the H&M Barracuda out first. But I'm going to see just technically how far it went. Okay, well, it definitely didn't go that far. So, we're on page 718. Well, that doesn't exactly correspond, but looks like this one took more of a header. Really damaged up head. Set that right there versus the Kodiak pellets. And that just proves, I guess, that the H&M Barracudas are taking, or better in my gun for providing energy and penetration at target. But now we need to grab the Crossman Premier Hollow Point. If I can grab it. 
here we go. Whew. So it landed about nice and neatly at page 768. That's the kind of um, hollow point you're going to see. Not terrible hollow point, but technically not a hollow point. It's more like a dome with a nice little cut in the nose. So yeah, did pretty well. But I will say, it did have the biggest hole by far. Not right there, but if you look right around there, it did quite a bit of penetration. But let's look anyway how far their dents went. They're all still doing pretty great. Let's see. Yep, still doing good. It's the hollow point. Okay, all right, Barracuda. Kodiak. All right, this is the thing where they're softened up. Um, uh, hollow point. Barracuda and the uh, Kodiak. It looks like the Barracuda keeps going on. Let's see how far it keeps going. Okay, right there is still the Barracuda. It just keeps going. I don't want to go too far. Ooh. Again, for the dude who said this wasn't very enjoyable, I think it's pretty cool to see how far these folks will go. Well, let's see, at point blank range, the H&M Barracuda will go that far through a phone book. That's some definite energy transfer. For um, point blank range, this is how, that's the Crossman Premier Hollow Point. And that's the Beeman Kodiak, it looks like. Beeman Kodiak still goes on, I guess. But it looks like the, the hollow point stops about here. So that's about as much penetration you can do with the hollow point. Follow the Kodiak. No. Uh, no? Alright, well, it looks like this is how far the Kodiak will go through. Ugh. Well, close that up. Looks like it's getting real windy, so that probably means that my voice is going to be all shaky and there's going to be a lot of wind picking up on the microphone. Also looks like it might storm. I'm in uh, southwest central Ohio. Hmm. Southwest central Ohio, Darbydale currently. Um, this is out where my range is, aka my grandparents' house. Um, so anyway, these are the pellets. The h n or this is the Kodiak, that's the h n or no, this is the Kodiak, right here, Barracuda, and the Crossman Premier Hollow Point. I didn't feel like doing the dome pellets, I guess I could, but I don't feel like doing another video real, real soon, so this will probably be the last video till another week, so see you guys later.